Hi everyone, I'm Lainey. I'm a wedding invitation designer and while you're here, I'd love if you subscribed and watched some more graphic design and Adobe tutorials. Okay, today I'm going to teach you how to create a custom swatch book like this one I have for cards and pockets. You could use this for wax seal colors, envelopes and paper from other vendors, uh, your branding colors, ribbon colors from different vendors, whatever you want to do, whatever you can get colors to match um, that would help you with your design process. So whenever I'm designing, I can just go over here and whichever envelope that I want to use for them, I can just draw my little envelope square and say I want it to be turquoise. I can just click on turquoise and there we go. I also have named these all with the correct names so that I can flip through and see which ones if I'm looking for something and then I put a star behind everything that's metallic so that I know that it's metallic because it doesn't really show up as metallic in this situation. One thing you absolutely could do is do the metallic ones as gradient swatches. I just don't use a lot of metallic papers, so it wasn't necessary for me. What I love about cards and boxes is they make this really easy. So you go up to color chart and then you see this here. Um, if you go down to this paper brands and CMYK chart, they do have recommended CMYK values to match all of their colors on that chart. However, I find that you have to like type them in. It's a lot slower than this process, which is just using the eyedropper tool. Other brands may not make this that quite as easy for you. It might be harder to locate all the colors. So that's why I just love this Cards and Pockets one. But for instance, like Artist Hair, they have pictures of all their colors. Um, a lot of ribbon providers have a swatch book photo that you can get. So there's a couple ways to do this. I would recommend deleting all of your swatches first. So you're starting with a clean board. Otherwise, you're just going to get other swatches in here and you, you can always delete them afterward, but it's just easier to start with a clean board. You can do this individually. So you would just draw a square, use your little eyedropper tool and select a color. This is coral. And as long as it's pretty accurate, you might want to click around on the color to get something, especially with these metallics. I didn't do any of the glitter papers because I never use those, um, but it's up to you. So you might have to click around. These are, as you can see, slightly different um, because I clicked in two different places when I was doing this with the eyedropper. But as long as it's pretty accurate, um, it's going to be okay. And if you want to use like print out samples so that you can use these four texts that should match these envelopes, um, then you can further refine your colors with those CMYK values. So after you have the swatch, you'll just go up here and click the plus sign and then you can go ahead and name it. So coral, it's not metallic. I don't need to add the star. And then I always keep global checked. It doesn't really matter as much in this, this case because it's not going to help, help you switch from swatch to swatch. It will help you if you do end up changing the swatch to a different color, though. It will change everything that's that color already to the new color. So I like to keep it checked, but that's just a personal preference. So you press OK, and then it's up there. Another thing that you can do is just create all of them at once. It might be more difficult to go back and find the names for them than doing it one by one, but you can kind of get into a process <laughs> with it and just use the eyedropper to make sure you get every single one and then add them all at once. So it might save you a little bit of time, just depends on how you prefer to do this. Um, and then you can go up here and you can just do a new color group, name it whatever you want, like CP. And as long as it says selected artwork, it'll do everything that you have selected. So now we have three new pieces in this color group. And then at the end of the day, when you're finished, you'll just select all of the swatches, go right here and click save swatches. You should put this in a folder where you're going to uh, know where it is. <laughs> you can just put like CP swatches or something like that. And then every time you need to use it, you can just go in here, user defined and CP swatches and they're right there and whatever names you gave to them I think I named that first one coral you'll be able to search I have this other one um, for my branding and I want to show you this because this is what happens if you don't delete all the other swatches first these are my branding ones down here I haven't gone through and deleted these because I'm lazy but you could absolutely do that so I hope that this is helpful to you. Um, Cards and Pockets makes it really easy by having this piece here that you can just screenshot. I obviously didn't get all of them. I'd have to go back and do another screenshot, uh, but it would be much easier than kind of having to, you know, save pictures of each one, drag it in here, etc. Um, so if you can find a large swatch book picture from whichever company you're doing this with, that's going to save you a lot of time because just getting the colors in there 
is the hardest. Um, and then you can also make this available on your Creative Crowd library so that if you work with other people, you can send it to them. So if this was helpful and gives you an idea of how to create these beautiful um, customized swatch books, you could have, you know, a 50 of them up here for a bunch of different brands and different types of things. And then when you're designing, it just makes it easier because uh, it's really important to design with envelopes and papers that are that actually exists as opposed to making up a color and hoping you can find a paper that goes with it. If you want this for stationary design but don't want to go through it and create it for yourself, I have created um, Stationary Swatch Book, which is a Creative Cloud library that includes all of our favorite paper vendors, including, of course, the Cards and Buckets one that I showed you, uh, but also all of these 31 other paper vendors as well as wax seal and ribbon color palettes and then it's also got a bunch of die cut shapes such as envelope liner shapes um, standard die cut offerings from our favorite printers etc so you can check out the station swatch book in the description of this video but basically i've just gone through for all of these different vendors and done all of the work for you to save you that time and energy and you'll see you can just expand these and find all of the colors that we talked about. So of course you can do this on your own, but if you think it'd be helpful for me to have done it for you, check out the link in the description to the stationer swatch book. So while you're here, I hope you check out some of our other videos on our favorite Adobe tools, how we use Illustrator to design wedding invitations and how to run a successful wedding invitation business. We also have a membership for stationary designers called Stationary School that I'll link in the description of this video. Thanks everybody.